Hey YouTube, it's Katrina, and I'm like so tired because there's just so much going on right now, but I made it through the week, yes! Uh, okay, so I asked BC what would be a good idea, uh, or a good thing for me to talk to you, I can't even speak correctly right now. I asked BC what would be a good story for me to tell you guys that I haven't shared yet, and he told me to share one of the Valentine's Day fiascos that I've experienced in my life. I don't think I've shared that yet. I think that I will. So, two years ago, um, BC and I have been dating for four years, so two years ago, of course, we went Valentine's right. Two years ago, I went to go see Valentine's Day the movie with BC, and spend the day in Manhattan so that's what we did that's what we decided to do we went to Manhattan and walked around on the Lower East Side and it was really fun and we came across this really awesome noodle place and um, if you guys are in Manhattan or whatever near New York walk to walk is delicious you get to choose what kind of noodle you want the sauce that you want the meat the toppings, the flavorings, it's really good. But if you're allergic to egg yolks, like I am, make sure you mention that so that they don't put egg yolks in your food. Okay, so I ate this food and regardless of there being egg yolks in it, I thought it was absolutely delicious. I NBC went to the movies. We're walking there. I'm like starting to feel kind of hmm, questionable. And you know, he buy the t he buys the tickets for us. Um, which I usually buy my own stuff. So boys and girls equality. Thing. He wanted to buy. So, anyways, getting back on topic. I'm starting to feel worse and worse and worse, and I'm like, I know that I ate egg yolks and that was a bad decision. I suck. <laughs> and we're waiting, like we're sitting on the floor to see this movie, because of course everyone wants to see Valentine's Day, the movie on Valentine's Day, just like I do. And he buys me water because I'm like, I, maybe if I drink water I'll feel better. That was a bad decision that we'll elaborate on further soon. And I was so, uh, like, stubborn. I wanted to stay and watch that movie. We wait for, like, a really long time, get into the movie theater, watch all of the trailers, and the title of the movie comes up on the screen, and I was like, no. There's no way that I'm sitting through this, because otherwise I will just lose it literally <laughs> on everyone around me so um we didn't even watch the movie and they didn't even refund our tickets this movie theater and and then i was like so out of it i didn't realize i forgot my bag and he had to go back and rub it around the disgusting floor with popcorn and soda and ugh. the poor guy you know and then we get to the taxi, and the taxi, like, takes off like a shot, and I'm like, I'm gonna, it's, it's just so I don't make it home. And I definitely have experienced what it's like to lean out a taxi as it's in drive, and so that's how my Valentine's Day went. Yay! <laughs> um, so this is just a piece of evidence that we take what we take away from this is that we like I, I have so many more stories about this like examples of this. We can't plan anything because otherwise something insane and like just happens and ruins it. Like if we make plans so we have to be as spontaneous as possible. Which is hard. It's hard to plan to be spontaneous. You know? But that's my embarrassing story. 
you guys have any strange awkward stories you'd like to share and make me feel better <laughs> all right that actually woke me up a little bit but i'm gonna go to sleep because tomorrow i have a service event community service yeah best way to spend your saturdays guys seriously that's not even a joke you know what's a joke this why did the lion outrun the gazelle because he moved faster.